Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. The US 30 there has uh, almost reached all time highs, dropped down a little bit this morning as most global equities are actually treading water uh, after uh, Friday's non farm payroll figures, which showed uh, a massive miss from estimates initially boost, boosting equities across the, across the board as it makes it less likely that the US is going to raise rates anytime soon. Really holding back the dollar, uh, but I guess the real big news today is about uh, the latest poll showing that the Scottish independence yes vote has taken the lead, uh, which is really hurting a lot of um, UK banks and smashing GBP USD. We'll come back to that in a second. US 30, however, gapping lower this morning and uh, just in the middle of two ranges, but still near all time highs, which are around about 17,161. So looking at the UK 100, um, certainly under pressure, gapping lower this morning and accelerating its move to the downside, hitting potential support at 68.32 on the wrong side of that level right now as we speak with the next potential support level at 67.74. Um, and obviously it, with the UK banks making up such a big por part of the UK 100, that's not that surprising. As you can see there, RBS down 6.7, Lloyd's down uh, 2.75. Barclays down slightly the least, but it's got the largest kind of global footprint, whereas a lot of the other banks are quite heavily UK focused. Um, Japan 225 uh, stopped dead at potential resistance 15,828. Next potential support 15,488. Um, obviously, lots of volatility there on Friday as well. Um, it's all about dollar yen for Japan 225 still. Um, before the non farm payrolls figure came out, we actually hit six and a half year highs. We got there at 105 spot 71. You can just see the volatility right here as the as the figure came out. We bounced bang on potential support 104 spot 67. We're now in the middle of two ranges. The US dollar is still making a little bit of headway this morning, but this, there is obviously a lot of pressure still on there because the non farm payrolls figure really missed expectations. 145,000 was well was quite a lot lower than what was expected. Really putting the brakes on an interest rate hike at the end of 2014, apparently. But a lot of other US data has been quite strong. But you can see there the long legged candle already prevalent. Um, we might have to retest of 104 spot 67 before we decide which direction we're going to go. Looking at crude oil West Texas, has also been under pressure, breaking back below 95 spot 40. Uh, we're actually getting quite close or pretty much bang on the next potential support at 93.95 with the following potential support 92 spot 85 and that's even as the US dollar has, has been weakening across the board. Gold has benefited from um, from dollars kind of lack of consensus um, kind of jumping around about 1267. We do look like we're in a kind of a channel formation now which wouldn't be that surprising since we've been in a channel upswing channel upswing channel probably get the back down to 1218 and then have another big bounce to the up to the upside that's obviously a potential um support level further on down the line there if this trend remains intact uh, but certainly 1267 seems to be in play right now looking at euro dollar um this was thursday's ecp decision about quantitative easing we're on the wrong side of uh, one spot 30 zero zero the volatility we had on friday after non-farm payrolls we pretty much touched there again so we're in the middle we're on the wrong side of the level right now the next potential support is all the way down at one spot 2746 so that's quite a distance to st still travel uh, i think one spot 30 is just going to be a major resistance level level for euro dollar and that'll be a level that most traders are looking at to see if the pressure is going to remain on euro dollar but certainly it seems to be that, that the fundamentals are not in its favor right now but after non-farm payrolls it's not so clean cut anymore. Uh, if we look at GBP USD, uh, it got absolutely smashed this morning, gapping much lower. Uh, its biggest one default in eight months. We're now at one spot 61.65. The next potential support level is one spot 60.00. Uh, lots of pressure on here. The Scottish referendums on the 18th of September. There will probably continue to be pressure on UK banks and um, and the pound across all the majors as well. Um, for as long as there still is this uncertainty, expect more snap, snap polls, uh, last minute ditch to try and save the union. Uh, we'll be in, in firm play for the next um, seven, eight days. Uh, and um, you know, a lot of traders seeing this as a major risk a uh, aspect. So it's a case of take the risk off the table. That's why the UK banks and the pound are getting hit so hard today um, because there is this element of uncertainty now because people just don't really know what exactly is gonna happen to the UK financial markets if this um, if the Scottish independence vote goes yes uh, on the 18th. So we'll just have to wait and see, but expect a fair amount of volatility uh, leading up to that as well.
Economic data wise, there's already been a whole host of stuff coming out of China. Slightly disappointing. When you fast forward tomorrow, there's loads of UK data. You've got retail sales, industrial production, and trade balance data all before 9.30 UK time, um, which gives you a bit of a flavor of what to expect. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights popular going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.